I support England and my favourite players are Rooney, Owen, Beckham, Crouch, Lennon and Theo Walcott. This is this is what I do when England are playing a game. England! 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 And that's, I do that because I'm happy when football's played on telly and it's a it's a good sport and you can really like in like take it in and like try to learn skills and stuff so that's why I like football. I am ten years old. My name is Sean Laziz. I go to Maryland Primary School. I think I've lived in East London for all my life. I lived in Stratford for m the most. I've got lots of friends in my school. I'm like a popular boy and everyone in the school knows me. I've been playing football for, I think, four years. And that means I've been playing it since I was six years old. I like football because when I, when I play it, it's really good and I can enjoy the sport and it can take, when I'm stressed out, I can just play it and I'll take out all the stress. It makes me feel happy and like, I can play it with my friends. We enjoy it together and you can play it as a normal sport. And in England, football is really popular and I don't know any other sport that's more popular than it. I played for Junior Hammers for four years. That's when I started playing really good football and I've been moved up to a higher higher team. I'm the youngest in the squad because I play with twelve year olds and like I don't know why people think I'm so good. I think it's because I play the position I play which is defender left back. I enjoy it. But well, I wish I could go into another position. So that means I have to work more harder. And the position I play in, you have to work really hard and stop people from like trying to score and stuff. And so I need to work really hard so I can move into another position. England, 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 England. England, England, England. My family is my mum, Bookie, my auntie, Auntie Shola, my other auntie, Tony, and another Tony. And yeah, that's it. And then I have my uncles, Uncle Bayo, and my uncle in law, Uncle Richard. And then my grandma, which is Marion. My cousins is Sarah, Junior, Liz Victoria and Michael and Chris. And then my extended part of the family, which is Auntie Ju and Auntie Julie and the dog Jeannie. My family come from Nigeria. Some are British, like they have British passports, Nigerian passports, and so on. I'm English because I was born in London and I've lived in London for 10 years. And I'm Nigerian because I have a, a my origin, my origin is Ni Africa and that's Nigerian. My family, you could say they're British and a part of them you can say they're not because like, my mum and me don't have a British passport, but the rest of my family do. But I know that I'm not an immigrant because I was born here and all my life I've lived here. I don't have lots of family left in Nigeria. Probably out of a hundred, I'll probably have like three. And um, most of them have moved over to England or America because they think like it's a better place even though like you have to work harder. I think that all of them have just moved on in life and no more, there's not really a lot left in Nigeria. My aunties really helped us and live with them because 
my auntie because if I didn't live with her, we could be on the street right now and my mum would have to go to a homeless shelter and it wouldn't be nice for us and it would be unfair. I shared the bedroom with my mum. It's difficult to share a room with my mum because you don't have a lot of space in that room and plus that wherever I have to leave the room to get changed somewhere else because there's not a lot of space. And plus, I don't well, want my mum to see me. England, 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 England. The day after I was nine on May 16th, some people called immigration officers came to my house. It was at 6.36 in the morning. They came to take me and my mum to Yarswood. Yarswood is a detention centre with people who had like, they have problems with passports and stuff. Go and there's lots of people there. There's a bit over like 200 people. It feels, the way it is, it feels like you're in jail and like you've committed a bad, bad crime. I didn't really like it because, well, I didn't eat properly. I didn't do the things I did at home and I missed myself a lot. So a month after I was really happy because that was the time I came out and I got to feel free again and felt really happy that I could interact with my friends. I made some friends there, but they weren't really like true, true friends, like the friends I have where I live. So that's what happened to me. I, I went there on May 16th and I came out on June 16th. I said to myself that nine was one of the best ages I ever had. And when they came, it ruined it. So now I'm happier to be 10 than to be nine and I think that 10 I can express myself and I can think I'm older like I really am and I feel more responsible than I was when I was nine. I think playing for England would be my dream and I feel I feel like really happy and I feel like what well, all these years I've been wanting to play for them my dreams come true but that means I have to work a lot hard past my GCSEs and everything before I can play football. And when England are playing, I do this chant. England, 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 England. And I know that sometime one day you'll see me on telly if I try really hard. England, England, England. England, 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 England is the champions. Oh, we are the champions. Oh, we are the champions. England, England, England. And that's how I cheer at home.